So after installing .NET 7 and when creating a new ASP.NET Core web app, I got a bunch of these internal error messages that are saying that a lot of these features is not currently available due to an internal error. So the way I fix this, if I just close this window, we can go to tools and say get tools and features. And then inside here, I actually tapped off the ASP.NET and web development and then set modify and say yes to this message. Then it will check if there is an update for Visual Studio Community 2022. And as you can see here, we need to close the window. So we will go and close Visual Studio first and then say continue. Then the Visual Studio installer will in will download and install the newest edition. And when that's done, you can just go and say modify again. It will take a while because it's a big update that you need to download. But then you can say ASP.NET and web development and check this on again and say modify and say yes again. And just let this run again. Then it will reinstall the ASP.NET Core package that you just uninstalled. And now when that's done, you can go and open a new project. So again, inside Visual Studio 2022, I'll create a new project and choose the ASP.NET Core web app and say next. And it doesn't matter what we call it. And we want to use the .NET 7. So we say create. And as you can see, I don't have the error messages anymore. And I actually didn't have it in the beginning of this video because I already fixed it before that. But I just want to show you how you get rid of the internal error messages. But thanks for watching. I hope you will have a nice day and you get rid of the internal error message. Please like and subscribe for more .NET videos. And else I'll see you in the next video. Bye.